Today's object is this. It's a flint hand axe and it was deliberately carved out of a lump of rock. And tools like this completely transformed the trajectory, the evolutionary trajectory of our ancestors. Because what this is essentially doing is transferring the energy from my muscles down to this very fine, deliberately carved edge. And, and in places, this is just a molecule thick, just one crystal wide. And so that meant that instead of having to use my teeth or claws or um, rather puny muscles, let's be honest, to um, hunt down a deer or to carve open its um, raw flesh or chop wood or whatever, I could use the hardness of the rock and the sharpness of it to do that job. So stone tools have been around for more than three, three million years, a lot longer than our own species has. We're only, we've only been around for two to 300,000 years. And um, we found them even in Britain. Um, there's, a, there's a place, Haysborough in, in Norfolk, where there's an entire quarry of flint, where um, there's all sorts of tools a bit like this. And they've been napped, so you uh, chop off, you hit off, um, at an angle bits of this rock and you get these blades and then you can work the blades and you can also work the core this is called the core of the of the rock so how old is this one well <laughs> confession this was not made by uh, my stone age ancestor this was actually made by me and uh, she would probably be horrified by the lack of skill um, involved this is actually my third effort but I did make it um, in a similar way to how my ancestor would have made it because I was taught so somebody who already knew how to do it and um, James Dilly who's an architect who's an archaeologist in this case showed me how to do it and then I practiced until I got something um, sort of resembling <laughs> an Acheulean hand axe uh, from it. And, and that's really special because that's something that our species does. You know, we cooperate and collaborate over things like tools and we teach each other how to do it. And over time, um, our tools get refined and get better and better. So now we have the Swiss army knife. But I think this is, this is quite special.